Hey guys, Scrap Diva 29 It's late and I wanted to share with you this mini album. Um, I am holding my camera because I cannot find the piece for my tripod right now. And I am leaving in the morning to the wedding and I wanted to share this before I gift it to my cousin. So um, quickly, it is a 6x6 six six mini. As you can see, I um, I did hand make some of the flowers, um, use some of the Michaels flowers. That's a wedding sticker. Um, I handmade this flower and this flower, and then these are just wild orchid crafts. And that's Michaels. Michaels use some blee, um, pearl bling, and then that wedding sticker. You can see that. And then this is the spine. And then this is the back. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have some really cool paper right here that's textured. And it just gives it a nice look. So let's open up the album. This is the inside. I didn't do a whole lot. This is pretty um, plain to me. I could have done more, but I was in a hurry and rushing and I did the best that I could. So, um, use bling, printed this quote off the internet, some flowers, um, spellbinders die. And this is the inside. Uh, that's a Sizzix die right here. And this pocket opens up for a picture, and then I have that quote, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy. Love Never Fails. I love that Bible verse. And then um, I did create two tags for journaling. And then each page has a pullout for a picture and then either another picture on the back or journaling. And I'm not going to pull all those out just because I am recording this <laughs> holding my camera. And right here you see I've added some bling. This is really pretty bling that I got from Monami Gabi. Looks like diamonds. Um, this is just a sticker. It says memories. Um, this paper was so pretty. You see it says Mr. and Mrs. Um, I used my Spellbinders die right here. That flips up. I embossed this side. And then this is part of the paper that I used, which is, I think, forever and always, and I believe it's die cuts with a view. I'll double check and I'll put the information in the description box below. I'm sorry you guys, I'm not on top of it tonight. But I did, like I said, wanted to share. So um, this is this the back of this page of this flip. Back, again using that bling, and then that says you and me. I emboss this side right here. Um, used some die cuts and just made that little embellishment. It flips open for a photo and then I used the ring die that I have and spell binders. And right here is where the pullout go comes out for another photo. This is the back side of that page and those are spell binders dies that I um, die cut out and used uh, pop dots and pearls. Um, this was a tag that I had in my stash, probably EK Success from a long time ago. Finally used it. I used the Spellbinders die right here and just kind of did it the opposite direction just to give it a little bit um, of a difference. And then there's a little heart that I die cut right there. This is pretty basic because this is for my cousin. She's not a scrapbooker and I didn't want this album to be too complicated but I wanted it to be pretty and elegant where you know she could figure it out easily and you can see I repeated that same heart pattern this um, flip I used that niche die which is the cake and then added some pearl bling and that opens up like that and I printed off a true love story never ends and that's on vellum and I just found that on the internet and I did use an embossing folder for the hearts and this is the back of that page for this photo right here and then this last page, I put a wedding dress. I think it's EK Success. Um, some pearl um, 
ad adhesive pearls on the top and the bottom. That's a Spellbinders die. And picture there, there, here, and here. And I didn't even put a magnet in here, you guys. I was rushing, but, um, you know, I could have added a magnet, but I didn't. But I think it's it'll be okay. And then this is the back right here. And I it's so late here, I don't even know if I have time to add the folio, the photo folio. If I do, it's going to be early in the morning, but I'm going to put that right here. It's not going to be a lot of uh, flaps, maybe just maybe three, I don't know. And then this is the back and I just put, and they lived happily ever after, and I printed this on vellum, and I got this off the internet, and then I just um, distressed it with um, distress ink, and then added some pearls right here. And this is my 6x6 six six, uh, mini album, you guys. Um, and I did use a border punch, heart border punch on the edge. I hope you guys like my 6x6 six six mini. I think it came out pretty cute. I don't really feel like it's my best, but um, I think it's pretty, and I think um, that my cousin will like it. So, um, yeah, and then, I don't know, I think I said I used a book plate right here. I think that's Tim Holtz. But um, anyway, leave me a comment, you guys. Tell me what you think, and um, leave me a message. And I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will chat with everybody soon. Take care. Bye.